All right, people, so let's clear the air. Difference from professional breeder and a backyard breeder. What what are they? I don't think there's really much of a difference. I just got done scrubbing the floors, picked up all the poops, scrubbed the floors, you know, out of the chemicals, sprayed it down, blow dried it. It's been raining wet. You know, I live in a county, so these dogs go out all the time. You know, they're not locked in a kennel and all that. Well, excuse me, but it's, I didn't get to that part. Fucking disgusting, but eventually I'm going to take the ball out anyways. I got to bleach it down, soak in bleach. But what defines a, a backyard breeder from a professional breeder? My honest opinion is we spend just as much money for anything. We spend more money because we have less dogs. And we spend way much time or just as much time as a professional breeder to clean out the kennel. And keep in mind that we all have, you know, full-time jobs. And, you know, it, this is like, you know, for the love of, you know, dogs only. You know, so it just check out the setup. You know, it just, it ain't the best, but I try not to go cheap too. This dog house alone, it's about six, almost 700 bucks. Hey, back up, man, get out of my face. You see, so it's not like they're not living comfortable. They're living comfortable. Oh, okay, I see what you guys have done. I see a little bit of gap in there. Now I gotta redo your fucking dog house. You see, so I'm not even halfway through with the clean. You still got a, the bag of a Victor Professional, the Pro Max or something. They actually got a hold of it. Yanked it in and fucking torn it all out. Ugh, these fucking dogs. You know, it's a full-time job, but you see, it's it's a pretty big dog house. My lifetime deluxe. It fits both my dogs in there, no problem. I got the decks, the food bowls, water bowls, toys. You know, they got the roof canopy to keep them dry. I got the panels for when it really fucking rains or gets too hot, pan them up, gets too hot, run the fan, run the AC. You know, set them sprinkle the waters during the summer. Like, you know, the mister, so they're always going to be, you know, just chilling. <sighs> but what he finds a professional breeder from a backyard breeder, I think we're all basically the same. We put in just as much work and just as much love and effort into it to keep make sure our dogs are healthy. And I'm speaking from experience. My first letter, I lost all 10 plus, but it wasn't a planned breeding. It was an accidental breed. I lost all 10 pups, you know, so I'm uh, trying to do a better job. Hey, leave it. I'm fill y'all up. Yeah, but, you know, just long story short, we put in just as much work as a professional breeder, if it's anything, maybe more, or maybe less, because they have so much fucking dogs, so it's a full-time job, but, you know, as far as, you know, the feeding, the cleaning, and all that, we do just as much. I think what it is is, a lot of people would, you know, just get on the keyboard, talk all their shit, like, oh, yeah, that's a back, that's a poor breeder, you're a backyard breeder, so they want to say all that dumb shit, you know, so, you know, to, to uh, knock down the, uh, the breeder or the dog owner to, you know, get a lower price because they don't want to pay full price. A dog in the streets, like these dogs, easily go for a thousand bucks. And after having so many dogs like this myself, I learned how to appreciate and not, you know, question the owner, the breeders or anything. And if they want 1500 bucks, 2000 2500 if I like what I see, I'm going to pay for it. I'm not even going to neg negotiate or, you know, try to talk them down, argue with them because I myself know how much time and effort and love and how much energy we got to put into it. You know, so it doesn't matter if you got a shitty day at work, you work in four, 12, 14 hours like I do, come back home, dogs still got to eat, they still got to drink, they still got to take them out, to, you know, uh, use the bathroom. You know, so that that's what I really think when people talk shit, say, oh yeah, you know, your dog's are garbage or you're a backyard breeder, you know what I mean, what's, what's the difference from a professional to a backyard? We all do the same thing, just that they have professional breeders, they've been doing it for years and they got a little bit more brass or bread in the pocket so they're able to set up a better facility you know it's just the chemicals we use it's expensive you know like 30 bucks for a, what is it one gallon of uh nature's miracle for the urine destroyer still on top of that you know after we scrub we still got to bleach it down you know we keep the dogs away from the bleach and bleach it down and really you know dry up the floors and all that 
you know, so it's just, we spend a lot of time to make sure our dogs are healthy when it goes to the vet. It causes an arm and leg, too. You know, so it just, I myself used to, you know, used to talk, tell myself, like, I can't justify paying 1500 uh, to 2500 for a dog until I really got into a, because I'm used to paying, you know, no more than 800 bucks for a Rottweiler, but that's back in the 90s. We been the fucking almost, you know what, almost two, two, uh, 2030, man, come on, y'all. I said 2030, huh, but everything's gone up. And I honestly, you know, sh yeah, check out these big boys. Big girl look nervous. That's why her ears are all back there. Like, she's like, what the fuck you doing, dude? Y'all don't like that camera bullshit. And he's like, fuck you, man. But, yeah, that's just what, yeah, I'm throwing off my game. But that's what I want to, you know what I mean, make the point out there that what is the difference from a backyard breeder and a professional breeder? I think we honestly do all the same thing. It's just that, you know, they've been doing it for a long time. They they started off with something like this, too, where if anything worse, I'm not saying I make a lot of money, which I don't, but I make decent money as a trucker, and I put myself into debt just, you know what I mean, just to be able to provide all this for them for the meantime, where it's just going to get better, you know, but I got to get, you know, built drain system and all that. You know, and just put salt and all that, so it's just gonna get better. And the dogs, you know, it's not like they're caged up all the fucking time. You guys see all the my check out my other videos. You'll see that I take these motherfuckers out. And I let them fuck around, do the own thing. Then when it's time to come back home, come back home. But you know, it's not like oh, you know, they live their whole life in a kennel and it's a puppy mill. Like you know, it's just I I I honestly feel like that's just pure ignorance when people say that like. Or I guess they want to say that or to justify, you know, to make himself feel better or something. But, you know, it is what it is. I know what I have and, you know what I mean, like, I, I, I leave it at that. See what's up to the camera, big boy. See what's up to the camera. Get by some mama. Come on. Come here, mama. Good girl. You know, and as far as you guys know, if it gets too cold or something, too hot, I take these motherfuckers inside too. You know, so it ain't like, oh, they're being abused and neglect. I don't run a puppy mill. I'm a full-time trucker. I'm not a full-time breeder, you know, so eventually, hopefully someday, I'll get to it, but, yeah, you know, just bear with me, you know, I'm just getting my point across, and a lot of times, you know, people breed dogs because we want to keep the breed, you know, like, like we want to keep the breed alive, or, you know, for the love of the breed, you know, so, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a full-time job, it's the second full-time job having dogs, you know, so when, you do, you know what I mean, like, whoever's watching videos, this video, you gotta, when, you, when you guys do go out and trying to buy a dog or something, please don't lowball the fucking breeder. You don't know what kind of shit, work and effort and money they put into these fucking dogs who, you know what I mean, even get the puppies for you to lowball them. Like, that's just a kick in the face. If you don't want to pay that $1,000, 1500 2500 four grand or whatever, go get yourself a mutt from, you know what I mean, the dog pound or something. And shut the fuck up. But if you want, you know, something decent, I'm not saying my dogs are the best, but they're, but they're not the worst. They're decent. You know, I don't try to put titles on them. You know, I mean, all that. I, 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 I try to breed more like of a, a family pet, where, you know, so I don't try to do no show dogs and all that bullshit. You know, if that's what you want, yeah, that's what you, that, that's what you want to. Yeah, I, I, I respect that too. But you know, it's just it's. It's sad, man, when you hear a motherfucker just constantly talking shit about, oh, you're a backyard breeder or, you know, just all this, like, try doing it yourself and then come back and, you know what I mean, uh, tell me the story all about it, but, yeah, that's what's, that, I mean, that's what I'm just trying to get at, you know what I'm saying, for real, though, we put in just as much work, if it's anything, way more work.